welcome back to the channel. My name is Cupquake and welcome to my creative corner. <laughs> Today we're doing something a little bit different. Um, I am going to create a drawing based off of what my Instagram followers chose. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, be sure to go follow me at TiffyQuake because I might be doing another one of these depending on how it goes. But I asked my followers a series of questions based off creating an art piece. And let's see what, what we come up with together. Okay, so I asked Instagram if I should create an abstract or realistic painting, and 55% said abstract, which will be interesting because I normally don't do too much abstract art, um, but I'm gonna try to push myself. Next, I asked cute or gross, and 92% said cute, I wasn't, I wasn't too surprised by this. I don't really draw many much gross things either, so I'm glad that you guys chose cute. Next, I asked with a subject that is human or nature, and 70% said nature, which is another thing that I normally don't draw. I normally like just human anatomy and drawing a human subject, so I'm about to get Bob Ross on y'all happy little treats. Then I asked with colors that are bright or dull and 80% said bright so we are gonna do something nice and bright obviously. I don't know where I was going with that. Next up I asked textured or blended and 61% said blended which I could go either way. I'm, I'm kind of happy we're doing blended because I feel like I feel like I'm, I'm okay at that in Photoshop. So, so this one was a tie. I asked classical or futuristic, and it was a 50-50 split. So I'm gonna I'm gonna have the final say on that. Um, I think I'm gonna go with futuristic. Yes, yes, a futuristic landscape that is abstract and bright. Then I asked astrological or scientific, and 83% said astrological, which makes me happy because we're gonna draw a futuristic landscape with stars and stuff. And the last question I asked was for children or for adults, and this was something that's gonna be like ultra cute or like, you know, good for kids or something that's more adult, and 58% said adult. So, all right, I think those are all the questions that I asked. Um, I have no idea what I'm gonna do. Um, but yeah, I guess I should just start start drawing with all these things in mind. I need to I need to write everything down. I need to write everything down on this so I can see. To make this an actual challenge for myself, I'm going to time myself. So I'm going to give myself no more than an hour to do something. So let me start my timer now. Something that's abstract, cute, nature so cute maybe we could do like abstract looking bunnies in nature it has to be bright so we'll have it like a bright moon um and if it's futuristic i want to have like multiple moons and maybe like a spaceship or something oh my gosh i'm gonna just start sketching right now <laughs> all right so i imagine this is just my sketch just bear with me I imagine like a lake or like water. So this is water. No, nope, no, nope, not gonna be, not gonna be water. I need to channel my inner Bob Ross. What would Bob Ross do? This is really challenging because I don't do nature. You know what I really love though is um, the shots of like. <laughs> this is very descriptive. The auroras. This is the auroras. So a shot of like auroras. So we'll have like a nice night sky with maybe some like trees that are lining and like shadowing. Um, but it has to be bright. So okay, auroras here and um, stars and stuff in the sky. Oh, but it has to be abstract. This is so hard. So what if the trees, what if they're kind of like 
warped, warping inwards. And it's like, you know, like those pictures that they take with those orb thingies to make the earth look super orby looking. So those are trees. And then um, we'll have like, so we'll put like a cool crescent moon right here. And maybe if we want to make it cute, I can give the moon a face. Because I don't know where the cute's going to come in. And future. Where's the future going to come in? So maybe, okay, maybe there will be um, like futuristic buildings. Futuristic buildings that like blend in with the treetops. I like that idea. This doesn't really look futuristic right now, but this is, this is just a sketch. A couple of like, like big futuristic saucers with the trees. And then, ooh, how about that could look like giant mushrooms. They could look like giant mushrooms instead of trees because we're in the future gonna live in giant mushroom buildings. Okay, I'm gonna get some motion in this because it's supposed to be abstract. So let's see. I'm just trying to create like a cool looking composition here. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna start adding some color and seeing where this takes me. I normally don't draw like this, which is um, already <laughs> a challenge in itself. So we're gonna go for this purple, a purple sky. And actually, let me bring this sky over so I could see my crappy drawing. <laughs> I'm seriously just flowing right now like this is I am this is not how I usually do art I usually have a plan like a solid plan or an, and an idea but hey it's good to get out of your comfort zone and push yourself this may turn out like crap <laughs> Two minutes left and this is just I don't know how I feel about this <laughs> it's abstract it's astrological it's bright it's cute questionable what else can I do to make this cute because I feel like it's lacking in that how about we make these little creatures that'll make it cute right these are now aliens and they're happy little robots does that make sense <laughs> they no longer house people and they're happy they're happy little creatures here's their mouths it's very very abstract they kind of look alien like I don't know if this is futuristic, but I kind of like them now. I like them even more now that they have faces on them. They're just as confused as I am. <laughs> These poor little guys. Okay, let me add a little shine in their eye. It's okay, little dudes. I just gave you life. You're welcome. Okay. I don't know what happened to them. They just turned into these creatures I'm just as confused as you are all right so after an hour here's what we turned out with abstract yes cute questionable nature check bright check blended check futuristic eh. astrological check an adult This was a really hard challenge. Like, I, I still don't know how I feel about this. If we had to come up with a name for this painting, what would it be? Leave a comment down below. What do you guys think of this? Um, if you guys want me to try it again, there's so many possibilities and outcomes that can happen with this. Um, so be sure to head over, follow me on Instagram, and leave a like on the video if you guys want me to give another go at this. 
Um, but as always, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you again for participating, those of you who did. Um, and yeah, I'm an artist. My name is Cupquake, and I will see you guys later.